welcome everybody to our podcast to die or not to die um today we will be doing a podcast with my fellow classmates um with your host destiny today we will be talking about uh, the death penalty and our thoughts and opinions of what what we view the death penalty as and before before reading the book of just mercy and after reading the book just mercy i'm your host again destiny and these are my co-hosts go ahead introduce yourselves Hi, I'm Caden. I'm in English 1A, and this is my opinion about the death penalty. And I'm Taylor. I'm also in English 1A, and these are my opinions. Hi, I'm Daniel Jimenez. I'm also in English 1A, and this is my opinions. All right, welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining me today. So our first question today is, uh, what is your guy? what was your guys' opinion on the death penalty before reading the book Just Mercy? Who wants to answer the question first? How about I answer the question first? Okay, so uh, before reading the book Just Mercy about death penalty and um, what it's like uh, for people on death row and, um, you know, the death penalty and stuff like that, uh, I didn't, I never realized what it was like for those people, people of color who were being mainly targeted and stuff. Um, yeah, I've seen it like on a daily basis and stuff like that, but I never realized how much um, people were being targeted, you know, for it. Um, on the book, uh, in the book, in chapter two, uh, Brian Stevenson said he uh, was reading about a book, um, The Bureau of uh, Justice Statistics, and he said that black men were more, were eight times more likely to be killed by, by police than whites. And then he also said by the end of the 20th century, the rate of police shootings would improve so that men of color were only four times more likely to be killed by law enforcement. But the, he said, but the problem would get more worse as states passed down your ground laws empowering armed citizens to use lethal force as well. And that was on page chapter four, oh, sorry, on uh, chapter two, page 43. Um, so yeah, I never realized how big of a deal or how, it, how big of an issue it was until reading the book and realizing that people of color were mainly being targeted or you know and um, yeah so that's my opinion and what I thought about the death penalty before reading the book of this mercy yeah that's that's just really interesting to hear I I'm I'm shocked that that's how it is and it's really sad that that's the way it is and it needs to be uh, fixed Exactly. It shouldn't, you know, everybody, just because we're all different colors, you know, whatever, doesn't mean somebody should be treated uh, differently just because of their color or the race or whatever, gender or whatever. But I feel people should be treated as equal. We're all human. We're made, we're made the same inside and out, regardless of what, you know, but that's my opinion on it. Yeah, I'll go ahead and go next. So, um, uh, another, one of my um, one of my most questions that I, that comes to me when I think of the death penalty is there any alternatives to the death penalty that are more like effective or humane than just killing someone? So uh, two options that I com- that I came up with that are good alternatives to the death penalty are um, uh, obviously life in prison without parole, just because it it's such a harsh punishment that. The victims and the families still feel that they're getting justice, but it also it's a more humane and um, humane um, uh, humane like it's it's just it's better for for everyone in general, and then it would be to just kill someone. And if for, for example, if there was a mistake, it it, it wouldn't it wouldn't be they as can worse. Always, yeah, they yeah, can always they make can, it right at, at, at in life in prison without parole. For example, for the death penalty, they they get it wrong one time and it's it's bad. That's it. So, yeah. yeah, that person's gone forever. Mm. Another option that I had too was uh was um um rehabilitation. A lot of people think that rehabilitation is too kind or too nice. Just as a quote from the book Just Mercy. We've given up on rehabilitation, education, and services for the imprisoned because providing assistance to incarcerated is apparently too kind and compassionate, from Stevenson 24. Um, Basically what what it's saying is is that they think it's too nice and they're doing them a favor by doing rehabilitation, but I think it's the complete opposite. I think that 
everyone should be rehabilitated and I think that that would be a better option than just sentencing them to life in prison and not making it right or not being able to show someone that they can do good starting from now on if they go through this rehabilitation process and um, things like that. I believe people should have second chances at life and, you know, rethink or redo whatever they have to do to be able to be out like everybody else. Just because they made one wrong mistake doesn't give the other person the ability to kill them. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I agree too. I think that with the rehabilitation process, it can also restore some sort of, um, from source some um, sort of um, addition to society that could maybe be like community service, things like that, that they could be a, start making a positive impact on society while in prison, doing um, community service and things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it would even be a good idea to offer like college courses or stuff like that so they could get like one foot out the door of jail. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people, once they're in, it's so hard for them to get out and stay out. They always end up coming back because it's just what they're used to. They don't know any different lifestyle. And it's hard for us as adults to like start college. So imagine being in essentially this box for so long. And then one day you're out in the world and it's like, okay, go figure it out. Go learn stuff. Go start a career. It's hard. Mm -hmm. yeah, especially especially starting too. over or something, you know? Starting yeah. from the beginning and not having the resources because you have your you have that background of being um, being in, incarcerated and people yeah. are going to look at you differently because you were incarcerated or whatever and so mm -hmm. they're not going to have the opportunity but if they have the opportunity then you know yeah and the thing is too with with taking college courses they'll see from they'll see and learn from their mistakes and keep continuing to learn from their mistakes and make a positive impact if they're yeah. doing that too my initial thoughts about the death penalty were that I was so for it. Um, after reading the book, I did change my mind. Um, I no longer believe there is a circumstance that calls for the death penalty. Um, in California, we don't have the death penalty. So anyone's sentence has kind of just been like put on hold. Um, I think Scott Peterson, I'm sure you guys have heard about him. He killed his wife so many years ago and he waited the death penalty just because California doesn't allow it and he's now on parole. And I can only hope he gets the resources he needs. Uh, but Stevenson said, the death penalty is not about whether people deserve to die for the crimes they commit. The real question of capital punishment in this country is do we deserve to kill? And I think that's a really good point. Like what gives us the right to say they did something so wrong that they don't get to live anymore, regardless of whether or not they took someone else's life. It's almost an eye for an eye to be like, okay, you took theirs, now we're taking yours. We're taking yours, yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think that's that's not a thing for us to call. It almost defeats the whole point of them even being in jail. They're not getting anything out of it. No, they're just taking the easy way out, if you think of it that way. Yeah. Yeah, that, I think that that death is such a strong word, and too, if 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 you were if they were to make a mistake, too, that's just something like my my big thing yeah. about the death penalty is is the mistakes because it, it has happened before, and yeah. when you make a mistake, it's unforgivable, and it's just not worth the risk. It's not worth someone's life. Oh, definitely not. Okay, so the question I wanted to mainly talk about is: Can the death penalty be avoided? But I know that there's many ways it can be avoided, like by the person not committing the crime. Like you kind of <clears throat> like don't commit the crime if you can't do the time, basically. But <clears throat> while reading the book, Just Mercy, like I found out that it could be avoided for like people who were charged that were innocent. Mistake. Like the wrongfully convicted? Yeah, like Stevenson, Stevenson was able to help Macmillan's case, like in his case, Macmillan was unlawfully charged for a crime he didn't commit and was sentenced to death, but Stevenson was able to get him out of it by showing how biased everyone was in like the court system. Okay, so after everybody said their opinion um, of the death penalty and what you guys felt 
like, you know, your opinions and everything about the death penalty. Um, so after, after I want to ask one more question before we do go. Um, what is your opinion now after you read the book? Like before, is it, is, is your opinion still the same before reading the book or is it different after reading the book? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my opinion has relatively been all the same just because I've, I've seen where they've made mistakes and I've seen that and I've just, I've, I've come to the conclusion, well, I've always known this, but the death penalty, I don't think should be a thing because of the mistakes. Like it's just, it's not worth mistaking someone's life because you see all the things in the news about prisoners being let out 20, 30 years later because they found out that they didn't commit the crime from like DNA testing that keeps getting better and better throughout mm -hmm. the years and if they were to do the say for example they did the death penalty i mean there's no coming back from that and mm -hmm. you can't make up for that mistake so just for me personally i, I don't think it, sh it should be a thing yeah i mean my opinion definitely changed since i read the book when i went into this book i was for the death penalty i think reading the book kind of gave me an inside perspective of what these people on death row are actually going through and even just hearing some of their perspectives and some of the things they've been through, like regardless of what they've done, they've done, I don't feel like anyone should have to sit there and smell someone else's rotting flesh. No one else should ever just have to go through that. And I think even what Caden was saying, like mistakes are made. Whether mm -hmm. or not that's common, I don't know. But the fact that mistakes are made is enough for me to be like, okay, hey, maybe, maybe this isn't the best way to handle these problems. I agree. My, my my the way i thought of it when um before reading the book i was all for the death penalty you commit the crime you do the time you know you you pay the price for it that's that was my train of thought when i before i had read before i read the book until i actually read the book and you know when he was helping mcmillan and he was wrongfully accused of something he didn't do and he was gonna be put to death for something he didn't do and he was wrongfully accused for it so um my mind changed about it like why kill somebody for something they didn't do? You didn't find all the evidence and you know, you have to find all the evidence first before proving somebody guilty. Proven until yeah. innocent or proven until guilty. What is how you however you say, you know? Innocent until proven innocent until proven guilty. guilty. There you go. <laughs> innocent until proven guilty. There you go. But you know, um, after reading the book, you know, you have to prove some prove it before before making your assumptions. But yeah, my, my view about it has changed a lot Dramat dramat dramatically, dramat dramatically, whatever. I don't know how to say the word. Anyways, but my, my, my view on it has changed since um, after reading the book or whatever. But yeah, that's my opinion about it. Yeah, and my opinion has changed a bit since reading the book on the death penalty because everyone deserves a second chance. Mm -hmm. but People need to learn from their mistakes and they do over time. But there's also those who were, are innocent who get charged too. And it takes years before that comes out. People do deserve second chances. Yeah, it does. It does. It takes years. That's the thing too. And if in the death penalty, you, you could get that almost immediately or even a couple of years later and still that evidence isn't out yet. So yep. yeah. Thank you guys for joining me today on our podcast. And um, once again, I'm Destiny. I'm Kaden. I'm Taylor. And I'm Daniel. Welcome everybody to our pad our pad. <laughs> <laughs>